you know, there is this kind of, there's something kind of stressful about this idea of the best places to go. You know, we all have that, you know, that FOMO, fear of missing out. It's a real thing. And, and when we're planning a trip, we all kind of feel this. And with absolutely no disrespect to my hosts here today, even events like this can be a little overwhelming. Because you walk around and in every single booth, another amazing opportunity, another life-changing experience. You know, how do you wade through hundreds of opportunities, thousands of brochures? How do you choose where to go? So. Because travel is so personal, I don't want to stand up here and tell you where to go, except Australia, which is the winner, apparently. <laughs> Rather than do that, I'd like to tell you, or I'd like to suggest to you some ideas on how to choose where to go, okay? So this, this brings us back to um, Expedition Unknown, and it, it, a little bit of a roundabout journey here. You know, as I've been traveling around the world, as I said, for you know over a decade, we've made a lot of shows. I've made shows on, you name it, you know, everything from Bigfoot and haunted doll-covered islands to vanished explorers, lost temples, Hitler's sneakers, you name it, I've made a show on it. And I have an email address at my website that gets to me, goes right to my phone. And I also have social media. And so we're now in an age where I get instant real-time feedback from viewers of the show, which is, by the way, a very humbling experience. If you ever want to be taken down a few pegs, put yourself on TV and then read the comment section. <laughs> very humbling experience. But the point is, we've made so many shows. And yet, there was one show that we made a few years ago that got an unprecedented level of feedback. Just, we've never seen anything like it in my entire career. I've never had the kind of feedback that I experienced a couple years ago with one particular episode. Who's got the book? Yeah. There it is. There it is. Can I borrow your book? Did you mind? We made a show a couple of years ago on something called The Secret. Yeah. Woo! Okay. Now, for those of you not familiar, this is not the like Oprah Winfrey uh, secret where you like you wish for a pony and you get a pony. It's not that book. That's a different secret. This is an older book. This this young man's got it as well right here. This is an older book. It was written in um, 1982. It was um, it was a flop. It, it came and went. It went out of print. This is actually an original edition. This is this is worth something on eBay. I'm going to steal this for a few minutes if you want to sit down. I'm never giving this back to you. Um, see how she was like waiting, like, don't take my book. Um, this book was written by a guy named Byron Price, and um, it is a treasure hunt. It's not just a book, it's a treasure hunt, it's a game. And uh, for those of you who are not familiar with this fascinating infuriating game let me explain it or rather I'll let TV me explain it take it away 